Hi guys, just thought I'd come and tell you how Zed got on at the vet. Actually, she was pretty good. You know, I think it's so important to, to watch our dog's body language. Um, you know, I learned something from her, uh, and I think changing vets was an excellent thing for Zed. I mean, I saw the same vet that treated YY, and um, she's she's got some more pills, and, and they're really pleased that she's doing well. Um, you know, he's an open-minded vet. It, 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 you know, he's young. He's very good-looking. Gosh, if I was 20 years younger, I'd be in there every day, but I'm not, so, you know, no. Um, but, you know, he, he's prepared to listen, and he did listen. As soon as I walked in, he, he totally ignored Zed, and he just looked straight at me and was talking to me, and we just got on with it. She's had a fine needle aspirate done. Um, in fact, she had three needles stuck in it. The, the trick was with her, you know, she put her paws on, because they've got quite high up um, examination tables. She put her front paws up, and she's, like, doing this little jump with her little back paws. There's this sweet little back paws going, doink, 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 doink. <laughs> Um, so I just plonked her up there and she settled immediately. Um, it was very, very warm in there and I was sweating and, and you know, I, I don't know whether tears and sweat taste similar to a dog, but, you know, she immediately started licking my face and we just got on with it. And he rang me at half past six last night and told me it's a sebaceous cyst. Um, he said to put Sudacrem on it, see how it goes. They... That they're, they're rather than give her like internal medication because you know they don't need it all in their body if it becomes problematic because it does irritate her a bit they'll do a steroid injection into it um failing that it'll be whipped out because you know sebaceous cysts can be you know if left they can just burst and abscess and and you know that's not happening it won't happen to my dogs I, i'm far too all over them for that um yeah, thanks for some of the, the name suggestions. I agree. It, it needs to have a sort of a Y and a Z in it somewhere, and, and I don't know, I'll have to think about it. But it's, it's quite difficult because, you know, I, I'm kind of looking forward and thinking, well, what happens when my Y's not here? I'll have to change it again, and or not. I don't know. But it's really good. It, you know, everything is, is kind of back to normal. Um, you know, YY hasn't been sick again, and... She's eating like a horse. She's so hungry. She, she's like, you know, she's been to poop twice today. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm all over her when she's going to the toilet. It's like, yeah, really good girl. Why, why, you know? So, you know, it's always encourage them. Let's always encourage our dogs to do the right things. And it's like, before I go out, I'm making heaving noises and saying, don't do that. Don't do that. No, uh, uh, you know, and, and she's wagging her tail as they say, no, mummy, I'm not going to do that. So, um, I, I, I Yesterday I just didn't get to sit down. It was just one thing after another after another, and it, you know. But it, it it was it was a good day, and it's so nice to. I mean, to have the, the to see the vet. You know, that's it's twenty six pound there for the consultation, and they did the needle aspirate thoroughly. You know, I mean, he didn't just stick a needle with a syringe in, and you know, he he did do that, but then he kind of opened it up with another needle, and then used another needle and a syringe and put it between two slides and they do the histology actually in-house so they don't have to send anything away so you get the results the same day and I much prefer that and yes I was asleep when he rang up and I was trying to sound really awake and I wasn't but I'll bring up and discuss it more with them today but no everything's okay it's a sebaceous cyst so much for my old vet who said oh no it's nothing it's a wart clearly not hmm so I think the best thing I ever did was change vets I mean you know they, they are um, a big practice but you know they, they've got the K laser scans and they've got endoscopes and all sorts of things and I, I want to be able to have that access to that um, you know I mean I was really thinking I was going to lose YY and I'm not and, and that's that's absolutely great um, I mean you know her arthritis isn't isn't bad but you know she's not limping I, I think she just needs a bit more exercise I mean she, you know she, I'm doing five walks a day. I mean, Zed has... YY has one out on her own. Zed has two out on her own. And they have two together. So, uh, you know, I mean... Because I take Zed out twice on, on training. And then she has training sessions here. So, you know, it, it, it's a lot on me. But, you know, dogs are worth it. You know, uh, my dogs will always be worth any amount of anything. i get my hair cut tomorrow. I can't wait, honestly. It's drive me. I better wash it, though driving me nuts is I've got rootage
you know, roots. I don't like it. I mean, it's there's silver and all sorts under here, and, and, and you know, it's like because it's been gone so long. It, it's anyway. Nobody's interested in my hair colour because it's staying this colour. I don't care how old and haggard I get. It's still staying this colour. It's a warning sign for everybody to not touch my dog. <laughs> um, so I mean, Nettie um, sent me a text and asked how the thing I said got on, and she's really pleased. Um, you know, and I, I'm just, I'm really grateful that the vets listened and, you know, took on board. And, and, you know, we discussed a lot to do with dog training and, and you know, he, you know, he's not sort of to, you know, a dog, there has to be a consequence of bad behaviour, you know, some things just aren't acceptable, you know. Um, is it, I'm not talking about hitting dogs or, or punishing or anything like that, but... You know, I'm not afraid to say no to my dogs. You have to sometimes say no. And, you know, this purely positive... I like reward-based training, definitely. But you have to be able to say no to your dogs. I mean, you use a marker of yes when they get it right. When they get it wrong, what do you do? You, you've got to say no. Or, you know... I, I mean, I often say, ah, 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 if they're doing something I don't like, you know. Probably with a little more of a sterner tone. But, you know, they get it right. I mean, it's like in the woods I've just got back from taking them out and um, after doing my comments and you know I have a special double whistle which I do myself because so many people are using like plastic whistles or metal whistles these days that you know somebody blows the whistle and and all the dogs sort of you, you know well those that are trained which a few kind of turn around and is like oh am I being called back and it's somebody else's whistle so I just use my mouth and and I have a double whistle that I use as a recall whistle now and you know, literally doesn't matter what Zed's doing, she just spins, comes straight back. And, and she gets rewarded for it. Um, as for rewards, because I have been asked, I mean, obviously YY is having nothing but fourth glade, and as I said, I just use a bit of that with her. With Zed, it varies. I mean, I either use dried sprats, and I'll, I'll show you, because I've always got them in my pocket. They're these little dried... They stink, though, I have to say. You know, yeah, they're little dried things. Um, and I get those... And I always carry those on me. But when, when I do a training session with Zed, I do use a weighed amount out of her food. I mean, she's on about five 500 grams of food a day um, because she's a very high energy dog. And so, you know, I, I'll maybe take 30 or 40 grams of food out with me and I'll work her until that's gone. You know, because if you, if, you, if you want good work out your dog, you, you've got to have good high currency. I mean, often I'll use 100% venison that's got no bone in it, um, and and that that that's really quite good because it's it's quite dry. I mean, you know, if I'm using a raw chicken bone and cartilage mix, it, it's quite messy, and and you know, I've always got like a bit of kitchen towel in my pocket. I mean, Zed's pretty good at cleaning me up. But it's like when I left the vets, like you know, I put my hand on the door and I thought, oh, I've just used my hand that's just been handling raw meat, and I ended up having to say to the vet, look, I've just you know put raw meat on your door handles <laughs> just thought I ought to let you know I mean yeah it's tested but I was just trying to be polite so that they knew because the next person in or the vet is going to then have raw meat on his hand and go to examine another dog I mean I'm sure he washed his hands obviously I mean I saw him wash his hands but you know he said to me do you want to wash your hands I said I'm kind of used to it you know I said she'll lick it off don't worry about it I just thought you ought to know about your door handle but no it, it was it was really good and all the staff totally ignored her and it worked and, and that you know I appreciate that so I just thought I'd let you know that we're all back to normal now and, and it's like such a relief it, it really is I'm not sleeping very well though I'm really not anyway I got a few hours but I, I've been up since nine o'clock yesterday in you know last night um I mean once I'm awake and of course why why turns around a lot and I mean she cuddles into me and you know or I cuddle into her and I mean, she's, you know, on top of the thermal blanket and she's not in my bed. She's just on my bed, on my broken bed, actually, because it's broken on one side. So she doesn't have to jump so high to get up. So I've sort of got a leaning bed. It's, it's kind of like that. So I'm up here and she's down here. But, you know, if it helps her get on the bed, why should I worry about it? It's, you know, OK, leaning bed of Laura doesn't matter, does it? Can't afford another one anyway. I mean... In in this last couple of weeks, I, I've spent £240 at the vets. And for a fortnight, I only get £300. <laughs> so it's been a bit tight this month. But hey oh, you know, the dogs will always come first. And I don't eat much. I expect everybody can tell. So 
anyway guys it, it's really great and uh, welcome Piro um, new subscriber to my channel and thank you for your comment okay and don't make it the only comment <laughs> otherwise I'll come and growl on your channel I'm only joking um, I do appreciate all the name suggestions I, I, it's a difficult one because you know it's like now I mean I'm just talking to you and giving you an update and yes there will be training videos and and stuff like that um, so it's going to be kind of varied it's going to be vloggy doggy vloggy doggy channel I don't know I really don't I'm not very good you know I'm not very imaginative at this I mean you know I've got a YY and a Zedley haven't I I mean yes her name Zed but as I got to know her she became she's sort of become Zedley warrior princess and she is a little warrior um, oh something extraordinary in the woods yesterday I, I was absolutely gobsmacked now I've taught her to rebound off things you know be it a tree a uh, vertical wall anything vertical she just rebounds well, yesterday she decided to take it one step further and instead of just rebounding off the tree, she started running up the tree and then jumped down and I was like, you know, so I've got a, a dog that runs ver up vertical trees now. God help the squirrels. <laughs> they better stay higher up. Mind you, I don't let her chase anything anyway, but, you know, if it's there, it, you know, she's opportunistic. You know, she, she's predator, scavenger, dog. Okay, guys, that's really it, and I, I, I love love you all loads, and God, these videos are just getting so long. Um, I did try yesterday to um, use my computer to video YY and, and Z are playing with their footballs, but I just couldn't get anything at all. I couldn't even get a picture, you know, so much for wireless signals. Rubbish. So, you know, I don't know. I just, I mean, I've got... A sort of point and shoot camera but it's only 8 megapixel yes it does do video but then I've got to download the Kodak stuff and uh, you know I hate downloading stuff onto my computers because of the risk of viruses but um, anyway guys that's it for me today it really is now I'm going and um, I'll, I'll talk to you very very soon I, I want to try and keep my channel going okay so th hello all new subscribers and you know you're all really wonderful people and, and as always I, I, I love you and for your all your support and everything okay so have a great day and take care of all your doggies and you know any animals that you've got and and you know don't let any humans come along and interfere with your dogs it's just rude in my opinion yes Laura's got a lot of opinions isn't she <laughs> bye people lots of love bye